So I got this uh, 90 350 Dodge truck here with the uh, bees nest in them. That's, that's nice. I have to address that. But um, the problem here is that the brake lights were staying on. And this is a fairly typical problem with these. And so here's what the brake switch looks like. There are six wires, three different contacts. The first one here, the very bottom, that's for the brake lights. All that is is just a, a tungsten contact, it looks like. Like a set of points from back in the day. And a spring. The other two, this one and this one here, these are for the cruise control. So we're not even going to worry about those. So problem here is that the brake lights were staying on and the reason that that was happening is because up in here um uh, man i don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up but up in here is where the switch lives right there you can't really see it it's not really uh, a, an extreme thing to know but so the bracket is all bent to bent to crap it's bent backwards and so the switch was pointed off to the side so here's the rod that goes to the booster and right above it is the bracket that holds the switch you can see it's all bent to crap so what happens here is brakes go like they're supposed to but they they don't return like they're supposed to so there's definitely an issue we have multiple issues here so the booster is supposed to return the pedal Right, and so if we look at this, we can see that it push the brakes, release it, you know, it wants to come out to about there. That's that's about the, the initial stroke right there. So this one, I can pull this all the way out. See, that's uh, that's part of the problem. So inside this booster is the rod, and attached to that rod is a retainer that's supposed to prevent this pedal from coming out. So what was happening is that the uh, the pedal was getting stuck because up there at the top, all these first gens are the same. Up there in the top, there's a rod that runs clear through and also uh, attaches to where the clutch pedal would be. So what happens is the uh, the pedal, it, you know, it rusts. It's dull. It's, it's a 1990. I mean, it's it's rusty in there. You got a combination of problems. So the pedal wasn't returning. So what was happening was they were pulling on it to get it to, to return which was bending the bracket, causing the brake light switch to turn on. So what we're going to end up doing here is we're going to end up putting a booster in this, and I'll show you why. This is, uh, this is good stuff here. These are the very first, you know, this is a 727 with a 205 transfer case, kingpin 60 in the front, 35 spline dually in the back. You know, these were, these are the engines, and these are, uh, that's a generator engine. In case you guys uh, weren't uh, weren't aware of that, these are these were made for generators, and basically Chrysler was like, well, you know, we need a we need a truck motor for this because like uh, the little crew cab over there, it's got a 440 in it, but that didn't come with that. They came with 316 or 318s and 360s most most of the time. So you know, you got a 360 that makes 135 horsepower, some astronomically low amount because you know all the emission stuff. So they're like, well, let's take this change the pump a little bit in the governor and make it to where we can bolt it in this truck so that's basically the history of that if you didn't know so there's the uh, shop mascot right there holding the door down so the booster this is the new one it's all wrapped up in the box but you can see here this is the rod that we were looking at a minute ago come on so this is the rod that attaches the pedal you can see here this one is attached like it's supposed to be. So we're going to end up replacing this booster because uh, the rod, there's no there's no kit or repair for that. The, the clip doesn't exist. It comes free with a new one. And um, also it's 1990 and it's just, it's time to upgrade some of the stuff. Well, by upgrade, I mean replace replace some of the old stuff. So that's, that's that. That's what I got for you for now. So if your brake pedal isn't coming up high enough or returning or if it's coming up too high that's probably why we'll get into the electrical part of the brake lights next time back to the first gen finally and so what i was able to determine is the um, the booster has this rod in it right that connects to the, the pedal 
so on the end there's a little retainer that holds this rod in so this retainer has gone bad which allowed the rod to pop out which allowed the pedal to go up too high which in turn uh, messed up the switch which is what bent the bracket which turned the brake lights on all the time so I'm trying to figure all this stuff out you know a lot of conflicting information out there some of it's just lost to time you know there's a couple old guys that have messed with this stuff before but you know they, they kind of guard that knowledge like it's some sort of ancient biblical scripture or something so there's not a lot of sharing so i was trying to put this switch back in trying to figure this out so there's this little insert in here that kind of puts a little spring tension on it and so this one was just all messed up all sorts of messed up so i figured that that probably wasn't the ideal way to do it i was comparing it to more modern ones and so the the modern ones that you put them in and you twist them so i got to looking at this and there's this raised edge here which kind of is in line with that hole in the clip there which makes sense and then there's this little machine hole here so what i figured is the case is that you're supposed to put this thing in here sideways like this well it actually would go it goes in there like that All right so it bolts onto the the frame with that one little nut and then i guess what you're supposed to do is put this switch in there sideways like this and then once you get it into place you rotate this whole switch i can't do it with one hand but you turn this and then this little raised edge becomes grabbed by the um, the case frame holder bracket there which is what holds it in place i i speculate that's that's my speculation so right now i'm trying to get this pedal to work loose you know it's got that rod that goes all the way across that the clutch pedal would bolt to also but it's just it's really stiff so i've been spraying some oil in there trying to get that work loose i also got a couple uh generic universal springs here so i think i'm going to put some of those in to help as well so got the booster in it's just a reman you know break fast o'reilly's brand uh and so yeah i got that put in there i'm gonna stick the master back on after i get the uh pedal all figured out and then we'll we'll go from there 